what's up welcome back to the channel bay area cat and cat here um so we decided to try and vlog our move across the country <laughs> we moved from new orleans to san francisco yeah and um it was crazy yeah so we tried to record some stuff, some goodbyes. We obviously didn't record everything, you know. Um, but yeah, here's a little montage of our packing and our drive across the country. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Hello. Um, I guess we're deciding to make a vlog because we're moving. We're moving. We're moving to SF. From NOLA, um, we move in approximately a day and uh, like seven hours, maybe. Oh so yeah, and we are, this will be our packing portion. This is us packing. There's still a lot more stuff downstairs, but we're starting. See you guys next day. house to drop off the tacos. The tacos. Say bye Keila. Oh no, we have to say bye. Goodbye <laughs> Keila. Bye Goodbye Rafflo. <laughs> Keila, we'll miss you guys. Bye Am. Bye Keila, we'll miss you so much. But we'll see each other very soon. I know. <laughs> we'll be very soon. We'll be very soon. We'll be very soon. <laughs> Okay, so everything you should have just watched by now was all day one of driving, so um, my parents ended up driving with us across country, so mom and dad, and then um, they were like, yeah, we never been to SF, let's go. My dad was like, yeah, I hope you drive, you know, it's a lot of hours. I was like, okay, cool. This man drove from our house to the edge of Louisiana. I was like, okay, let's switch. This, I drove, drove the whole way. The whole, all the way. The whole 25,000 hours. Yeah, I drove, for day one, we drove all the way from New Orleans to El Paso. So I drove the entire Texas. I also drove day two and the days after that. But she don't be driving. Um, so yeah, in day one, it was just a lot of packing, a lot of goodbyes, a lot of driving. Yeah. And Nothing crazy. It honestly didn't feel that long. Like you would think a trip across country would feel like super intoler intolerable, but honestly, it wasn't even that bad. But I like road trips, so yeah, me too. Good company. If you don't like road trips, no. Yeah, and I literally work in a car now. So um, okay, so for day two, this is where all the shit went down. So we stopped in El Paso. We slept in a hotel for the night. Woke up the next morning, we're like, okay, it's only a few hours to LA to meet up with our cousins. Um, so we hop in the van, skirt, skirt, we're driving. We made it through New Mexico. We make it just into Arizona. And then my dad's like, oh, pull into this gas station so I can get a beer. And I was like, okay. 
So we go park, you know, and then... And it's like a rural as type of environment. It's like the It's like the farms, rural farm area of Arizona. Animals, flies, these huge ass flies. Flies everywhere. Yeah, so what happened was we ended up breaking down. Um, and yeah, you'll see that soon, but it's all good because we got some tacos. Yeah, we went to a mechanic and outside a mechanic, they had a taco truck and we just... It was vibing. We were honestly like to think how most people would react in that moment with all our shit in a van. And then all of a sudden we break down with all our things and we're like, yeah. where's a mechanic? And honestly, like we thought we were going to probably have to sleep there because they kept telling us like all the places were closed. They can't fix yeah, anything. Yeah. Like we were low key. And it wasn't like a mechanical right. problem. It was more of like an electric problem or whatever, or electronic problem. Yeah. So yeah. But we made it though. There were some nice people that helped us out. It was cool. Mm -hmm. It was a minor, it was a minor problem. Like nothing major, praise God. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and then we made it to LA. That's where we met up with our cousins. We did a whole lot of hanging out. We went to the arcade, went to go eat, went to the California Science Center, the Rose Garden. And it was my birthday. Yeah, we celebrate her birthday. My 22nd birthday. She old. Um, yeah. He's a month older than me. Yeah, so that was our day two. And it was super fun. The arcades in LA are popping. Crazy. Like people really were dancing on the little thingy. Like, but serious. Yeah. Like step up type shit. Yeah. Yeah. So fun. Um, but yeah, we stayed in LA for like three, four days to like do adult licensing, transfer cars. Just like finally relax and not be on the road. Yeah, chill out. Um, LA's cool. And then um, after a few days, after we celebrated Kat's birthday, we drove up to San Francisco to the Bay Area. The Bay. And we made it. Um, and then we got to our apartment. What? Should we pause down? Yeah, sure. Pause. Driving day two. Stop bringing out Starbucks. Oh, oh. <laughs> got her. Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks. We stopped to get some loving. Just kidding. We got candy. Oh, the candy.
<laughs> Do a cowgirl. Keep going. <laughs> Okay, so day three. <laughs> it wasn't really day three, it's more like part three. Wait. Oh yeah, we drove to the bay. Drove oh to the bay. God. We made it from LA to SF or Daily City. Made to our apartment. You'll see a little super small clip of our apartment. A empty. cute little apartment, but and now look at all the stuff we got. It's filled. For free. For free. It's crazy. We gotta talk about that. Yeah, that'll be future. We stuff. got some stuff for free, but that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Um, but then our parents were up here. They were only up here for like two, three days, but we went to take them sightseeing and we've never been anywhere. So here's a little montage of all the places we went. Um, it was and so then, cute. Yeah, like a little goodbye at the end. It was super small. Yeah, they didn't even cry. I mean, we didn't cry either. <laughs> Wait. Did you cry? I thought we had a moment where we like got emotional. Like, didn't we have a wait? That was before we left. Before we left, like when we were packing and all that, we were super emo. We can talk about this in the last one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we were crying about that because we missed our friends. Yeah. Okay. Stop. journey across the country and Thanks. honestly probably on video it doesn't look that bad yeah and it wasn't it was bad but it was a lot like chaotic but like good chaotic yeah so yeah we move thanks for watching our journey wait are we gonna talk about why we moved yes i just say oh i thought you were wrapping it up no. <laughs> okay sorry cut <laughs> Uh, no, I thought you were saying goodbye. <laughs> okay, cut. I don't even remember what I was gonna say. So the reason why we moved out here, no, you say this is like your stuff. Well, it's both of us. It's still like say the whole oh, okay, lives. Okay. <laughs> um, so we moved out here because okay, it was a whole thing. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to grad school because that's. <laughs> That's such a big commitment. So I was kind of like Okay, Oof. part four take two So yeah, 
that was our journey across the country. Thanks for watching the little montage and the snippets and everything. Um, it was, you know, bittersweet leaving, super sad saying bye to everyone. But, you know, like all of our friends, we're like moving on to the next step of our lives. Like all of our friends moved out too. So it's like, yeah. go us, you know? So emotional saying goodbye to like certain people. Oh my God. And yeah, sorry we couldn't record everything. Also like, you know, you saw how awkward it was. So like, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the whole reason why we moved out here was because... Okay, so we didn't know we were gonna move out here until like two months. Like, wait, how do I say that? <laughs> <laughs> wait, okay, so two basically, of what? no, listen, okay. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> I. <laughs> so, Pablo? I don't know how to explain it. So, she didn't know she was gonna go to grab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't know. I to, like, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to grad school because, like, that was just like a really big commitment. Mm -hmm. And we ended undergrad, like, both of us graduated in May. In May. 2021. Right. And before that, I was, I only applied to one school. And I was like, okay, if I get in, I'll go to grad school and move if i don't get in that's just a sign for me to go work do my chill. life chill and know a little bit longer you know like not rush it um but then i got in and yeah. then we had talked about it we were like before i like during my application process we were talking like we might move mm -hmm. and then he was like i'm going like i don't care right, like, like let's I go stay in there Right, and obviously like we just wanted to start like a new life together and get a place and like move. Like he always, I mean, you can speak for yourself. Like you always wanted to move out oh, too. Oh yeah, like everyone knew that. Like, like out of the state. I mean. was in that state in Louisiana. Yeah, like we love NOLA, but at the same time it gets like a little bit the same old, same old. It's just like the type of personalities and the persons that we are, like we want to see and experience new things like mm -hmm. all the time yeah um. and it was definitely like a huge leap but we were so confident in wanting to do it for a really long time like wanting to move regardless of where it was like at one point we were thinking seattle at one point we were just kind of like wherever like doesn't matter yeah so we knew it was gonna happen and i feel like me getting into a school was kind of like the push kind of we both needed to get out and then yeah then after i knew i was going we just like looked at a, for apartments like hunting yeah. down and it was hard yeah for sure pretty much she figured out she got into grad school around like february march time frame and then we were like that let's go so since then when we found out we were job hunting apartment hunting and oh my god the housing market out here is freaking Ridiculous. crazy like even renting and stuff super expensive everything is expensive and then it's like we were looking for apartments in all the places we we're contacting like super early on they were like yo it's way too early you're gonna move in august like bye and like they're like yeah call like at the end of july and beginning of august and we're like how are we gonna move across the country when yeah we don't even have a place to live like places want you to move in like, like that week. week yeah so if you're looking for a place you have to be ready to move on the spot and we were like okay i guess so we found a place and it was close enough to the time we were like have a moved out date mm -hmm. and they were like okay yeah i think it was like two weeks or something yeah um, and that was enough for them to kind of hold it, but not really. Yeah. Um, they they were literally telling us like you have to pick up the keys on this day, or if not, like you lose the apartment. It was, it was a whole so thing. extra. Yeah, and we were like still figuring out stuff when we're having our goodbye party. Like, oh well, yeah, we had a goodbye party. We yeah. didn't get to film none of that though. Yeah, it's, we were busy. You but know? it was so cute and spontaneous, and it our was friends cute. went there at yeah. his house. It was cute. Yeah, good time good people but yeah we just i don't know we've always been really adventurous and we just kind of wanted to try living somewhere else and i feel like so far we've been here for six months or so a little less 
And we really liked it here. Yeah. It's cool. I feel like we're really just growing as people and learning so much, you know? There's a lot of opportunities and of course it's expensive and there's like a lot of downsides to that. But I feel like when you're young and you're like in the beginning of your career stage and you're still figuring stuff out, like this is a really good place to kind of like find opportunities, make connections, and then go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm talking with my hands a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else you want to say? Um, if you're thinking about moving, I think you should do it. You should definitely do it. I it's hard and I like we obviously it's easier when it's two people together like moving mm -hmm. i know like moving by yourself can be really hard but if you find someone or a friend or a significant other like i don't know if it feels right i don't know if you have peace about it i say just go for it we definitely yeah. just had peace about it we we're like yeah let's let's do it yeah most definitely yeah so yeah thanks for watching Appreciate you, homies. Um, and I don't know, maybe we'll have more stuff. So maybe we'll share other things we've been doing here. Mm. Other things that we have done or want to do. Okay. Adios. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye from the casita. The casita. <laughs>